There's been a lot of attention placed in the lack of toilet paper in stores during the pandemic, but there's another essential item that has been hard to gain access to as well, pads and tampons. A Reuters health study estimates that one in five women can't afford these products even when we aren't in a pandemic, and now it's much more difficult to find them. Jamie Perez shows us how one local group is helping solve that issue. Jamie? So this is even more of a problem now as more and more people are out of work. The people who once relied on their place of work or a public building to gain access to these products no longer have that luxury. It's often something that goes ignored in our mainstream conversations because of the stigma that surrounds menstruation. There's been a lot on our minds during this pandemic, but access to period products hasn't been one of the main things talked about. And it's assumed that there isn't an issue because it's not being brought to the table. It's so ingrained um, in the American psyche that you do not talk about menstruation unless you are asking a friend in a whisper, hey, do you have a tampon? For this group who started the tampon task force and a movement called Bleed Shamelessly, it's been their top priority to fight the stigma and give people access to these essential hygiene products. That, that's a huge issue. Um, so basically we just launched this campaign, which is allocating all of our resources and funds and energy towards providing free menstrual products to people who need them in the Dane County community. They started to go fund me and so far they've raised about four grand, all of the money being used to make period kits that they're distributing each month to shelters, food banks and community members here in Dane County. Period products are some of the least donated produ uh, products to shelters, even though they are in they're some of the most demanded items. They've donated about 1,100 kits so far. Need for uh, organizations like Bleed Shamelessly and others across the United States to provide these products and ensure that menstruators aren't forced to choose between buying food and also buying period products. In a pandemic where people are losing money, can't find products in stores, and when you're dealing with a product that no government program covers. It just helped me realize that we need to take action because if we don't, then who else will? And they said that they will continue to make and distribute these period kits for as long as the pandemic lasts or as long as money keeps getting donated. If you would like to help them out, I have a link to their GoFundMe on channel3000.com. Jamie Perez reporting live tonight. Jamie, thank you.